Hey everyone, today we're going to be looking at these vintage Barbie chocolate boxes. All of them contain chocolate. A couple of them are sealed and unopened. The ones that are opened, I don't know why they were opened, because the chocolate inside's all moldy. But I think the wrapper was probably peeled away by mice or something. Alright. First one here is M&M. There's nothing in it. I'm just showing the container to you. Two thousand one. Anything after twenty years is considered vintage. All right, here we go. This one here. It's in pretty good condition. It's got a little bit of rusting on it, but to a collector, that's no. Big issue. 1997. So this is 24 years old. As you can see, we're going to open this up, maybe do a taste test later on. Very curious to see what it looks like. It expires yeah, about a year later. And right here, you got an ink pad and some stamps. Is that a sticker? Go back to that. Now, this one here, see how it has these little lines, scratches in the paint? It looks like mice with their teeth were trying to chew it open because they could smell the chocolate through the seal. And they completely ate away the outer plastic. But they were never successful of opening it. But they did allow the air in by breaking that seal. And what do you get? Really moldy chocolate. That's not crystallization of sugar that is mold you can see green and white mold and it says barbie pretty cool what's it smell like can't smell anything but the mold i'm not stirring it up so the pores aren't really a problem okay next we'll go back to that because that's unopened this right here is basically the same as that one the mice got to it. They ripped the labeling off. Just tells you what they were. Nutrition facts. Yeah, this one's even worse. Look at that one. Is that the caramel? No, that's chocolate buttercream. Real gross. Oh, put it away. We can see what it looks like in another 20 years. Now this one here, you see the mice weren't successful of getting it off, but they still broke the seal on this one. I'm just going to leave it as is. It's going to be exactly the same as what you just saw. Now we can go ahead and open this one up since it is different. Looking around, don't see any evidence that the mice have broken it. Uh, yep, back. It must have been upside down in the storage facility. And you know, storage units, especially the outdoor ones, they're not mouse tight. But, very promising, they're inside another container. We can actually do a taste test on these, because they don't have the mold. Smells great of chocolate. Now, chances are when I open this up, it's going to look white. That's just the crystallization of the sugar inside. When you go to the store, even new chocolate sometimes has it, but the store would usually throw it out because it just doesn't look appealing. But it's not dangerous. Yeah, that's what you're seeing there. But this is really bad compared to what you would just see at the store. But if you were to melt it down, it would turn back to... The regular brown. Make it a mess on the floor. Well, yeah, that's not mold. That's crystallization of the sugar. There's nothing actually wrong with that. That's natural. But this is like an extreme phase of it. Still smells normal. Just took a little bite. Even the sugar on the inside. 
gotta say, I can taste the sugar, but it's not as good as the day it was made, of course. It's not rancid, it's just extremely dry, and that's just messing with the chocolate. Okay, so we can say that kind of survived. These ones got just wrecked by the mice. Now this right here is in a secondary container. It might look normal. I bet it's going to be crystallized. No, it's not that bad. Very minor crystallization, actually. It's minor. Sometimes you go to the store, you can buy things like that. I know a lot of people are afraid to eat it, but... <laughs> Caramel bar. Not too bad, but... That's peanut butter. And... No, it's not peanut butter, it's caramel. Why did I think that? Not too bad, but the flavor's off. And I actually did swallow that. That's it's fine. So this video was just for the experiment. How does chocolate hold up after the years? Well, if it's not sealed, it goes down pretty fast. But if it's in a secondary package, it lasts a pretty long time. Chocolate after being expired a few years would probably still look the same, but this, that's two and a half decades. The Barbie chocolate there from 1997. And this one here. Yep, 1997. And the one the caramel came from. Can we get a year out? That's yeah, they're all 1997. The caramel kind of lasted, but not really. Food expires, most of it, and just tastes disgusting. I don't encourage anybody to try old food. I'm just doing it for the experiment. See what it looks like, how it hold up to the years. I know a lot of preppers are interested in what holds up. This, I would say not really. Hope this video was interesting. Thanks for watching. These are going back in my collection. I'm going to keep this wrapper. These I now broke the seal. We can take another look at them in another 10, 20 years. I bet they'll have mold all over them. These right here are going in my junk pile. And these are going back in my collection in a place mice can't get to them this time.